Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's old Big Bob. Here it is, the new, the new scene. <laughs> I'm still in my car. And, but things are pretty much similar, although there's no, haven't got my Sharpie out to start writing on the ceiling yet. <laughs> and things are pretty much the same. <sighs> brand new dash <laughs> I was freezing last night couldn't find my warm blanket so uh, you can give me a call 213-713-8954 text is more appropriate all the woke people say you shouldn't be calling people so I guess you can text me <laughs> uh The other, uh, other Casa del Green, the wagon that um, Evangelist Vicky paid for, it finally went off to glory yesterday. I got the license plates off of it though, and I got the, uh, I got, um, got the hundred dollars. <laughs> I was expecting three hundred dollars, but now only a hundred dollars. But I didn't lose any money on it. AAA towed it to the independent Volvo, and then the independent Volvo, I was all set to tow it away. I took everything off the car. <sighs> Including the little Volvo V70 letters. Turned out they were just put on with this rubberized sort of stick them. It was just, they were just stuck on there. It was amazing. I took my putty knife and I was like kicking them off and they just came off so easy. I took the ribbon off the grill and I blew out the whole car and uh, they didn't give me $300. They said that there was a little water damage. The, the seats were a little stained. <laughs> they didn't seem to notice the ceiling was covered with writing. They said that the paint wasn't quite right. Like, you think? <laughs> I carried so much stuff on that car. So, hmm. I'm worn out, I'm tired. I bunged up my hand, I've got dirt on my nails. I'm just, I'm worn out. But I gotta go to the credit union apply for a loan for a car. I didn't sleep real well because I couldn't find this little blanket. This is my warm blanket. I put this on top of my regular blanket then I can be warm. I couldn't find it so I was using using some old towels and trying to stay warm. But, uh, pray for May 7th because May 7th I get the signature. And then the Gestapo will be given their orders to stop chasing me and I'll be off of the government hit list. It's so outrageous. I mean, I know there's really bad people out there. I know that there's this horrendous sin going on, but when you can't even, you know, you can't even, it's just insane priests and pastors and leaders and folks like that is just no 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 we 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 know we know I mean people think they know everything you can't tell them nothing you can't tell them nothing it's just you know it's just crazy I really am too tired to even wake up here uh. Well, I'll get organized. I put a stick in here because the way the, the way the, uh, I'm a little bit spooked out because I don't have any tinted windows. See, look, I just have, it's just raw glass. You know, if I were to look out, let's see. Let's see, it's just clear glass. So literally, I'm just I'm just a curtain away from 
the outside, I'm in a fishbowl. I'm here on the side of the road by In-N-Out Burger and Baldwin Park. I sat last night and I watched them doing the cooking and the shaking and the shaking and the, you know, the shaking, <laughs> shakes, get it shaking. <laughs> and the fries, it's doing the shaking. They don't shake the fries too much. Now they just dump them into this thing. I guess it's supposed to kind of drain them out and then, <coughs> and then I scoop some up with a little stainless steel scoop and just <laughs> real efficient. When I was doing fries, you had a towel and you get like this. You shook them back and forth and kind of tried to shake the, the oil out. Now it just kind of and most of the fries are animal fries now. So they got two slices of cheese. They go into the steamer and they steam them. Then they throw in some spread and some grilled onions and animal fries. Yeah, everybody wants animal fries. Even I had animal fries. <coughs> I spent the whole day yesterday just cleaning out the car. I mean, cleaning out the car. I mean, every single little, got it all blew out with my blower and I, and I put everything here into this car. This is a Camry, but the Camry has now become, it's exactly like the Volvo, but it has dark, dark upholstery. And uh, everything, I have my clothing hanger here like this. I have my bookcase. My bookcase fit right in. I've got my portable toilet. I got everything here. My water tank. Here's my tank of water and here's all my books and it's it's kind of cool. I mean, I just and the guys at the Volvo, they were they were out of their minds. They were so oh, they were just losing their minds. You know, this 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 this. I couldn't believe it. And then as the day went on, they were more and more impressed. And when I put the last, you know, last pin in the project, they were like, wow, that's pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> I said, no, it's all gonna fit. I took about five bags back to the house before the kids got back. And <coughs> as I said, I took off the license plates. So the tow truck guy came and I get this call, we can't move your car. You haven't got license plates. You gotta have the license plates. I'm thinking, oh my God, I just went from Baldwin Park back and now I'm sitting in bumper to bumper traffic, trying to argue with a woman and say, just, it's fine, just, oh no, no, no. So I drove to Baldwin Park. <sighs> <sighs> Ha, ha. Mama ran out and threw the bag in a car like I was a express mailman. And uh, I went back. I just finger tightened the license plate. So I just got sit in the back of a flatbed. So we, uh, we got it done. And then when I got there, I took off the front plate, took off all the nuts off the other plates, the other plate in the back. And the guy says, I want my plate, you know. Here's a custom plate, Casa Dougley, 1945. So, uh, and it turned out that, you know, once they, once they said the deal was done, I went out and I just took the plate off, you know. <laughs> I was a little scared they were gonna say no. But I definitely want my new car to have the new plate. You know, or maybe not worry about it. Just get whatever plates on there and call it a day for the moment, you know. But at least I got the plates I can use. But God's good, God's good, God's good. I am, I have to get on my way here. I gotta get going. Love you guys though. Take good care. God bless you. I will be back at church. I'll be back at home. No more living in my car. I used to have the days all written up here and I had a big skylight up here too. But now look, look at this, isn't this cool? The most beautiful fabric. And look, the light works. Let's see, uh, I guess it's supposed to work, but <laughs> I think this light works, let's see. Nope, not one light works. I think it must be too much daylight. 
Barbara White, my heart works. Take care. God bless you. I'll look for your text.